Okay, so I had some people ask about um, setting up their Fly Sky um, receiver with the F3, the SP uh, Speed Racing F3 uh, flight controller. And so I'm going to show you how that gets wired up right now, and then we'll go in and look at uh, Beta Flight and see. Um, I'll show you how to set it up in there as well. Now I'm flying with the um, Fly Sky. I made the mistake of buying this first because um, I was trying to do a low budget build for my first build because I wasn't too sure. Um, and I ended up regretting it because you can't use this with a um, simulator. So that means that you're uh, basically flying trial by fire, which means you crash. Um, and then you repair stuff and it gets real expensive real quick. So um, this is the Fly Sky T6. It runs PWM, which is why you end up with this mess under the hood. Okay, so this is a replacement receiver. So the first thing I had to do is sync it up uh, to the remote. So I'm gonna plug this in. You see on here, you've got a signal all the way to the left, which is my white one, power, in the middle and ground to the right. So black goes to the far right. Put that in channel one. You can really put it in any of the channels. And the jumper cable, doesn't matter which way it goes in, it jumps the signal to the uh, ground. So I'll plug that in. Now I'm gonna plug in my battery. And you see it's blinking. Then I'm gonna take my Fly Sky remote and while holding this back button, Hold it down, I'm gonna turn it on, and you can see it sank right up. So that's all done. So this is my SP uh, Speed Racing F3 flight controller, and it comes with these ports on the side. Now the pins are facing forward, and yes, I know I still have the pins on here, uh, the connectors for the ESCs, because this is old school and Honestly, I like it because it makes it easy to troubleshoot when something goes wrong with one of the motors. I can swap it out and see if it's the motor or if it's something from the flight control board and test the voltage coming off of the uh, power distribution board. But anyway, so when you get your flight control board, you're going to get a couple of, well, you're going to get a bunch of wires. But this is the one you want. Um, it's got black, orange, white, blue, yellow, green orange white now on the right hand side of your quad you're gonna clip the last three wires green orange and gray I guess that is uh, you're gonna clip those off and just leave the other five wires so you'll have ground power signal for channel one the blue one is signal for channel two and the yellow i'll talk about in a minute on the other side you're also going to cut from the same side but you're going to cut the yellow wire as well so you're going to cut gray orange green yellow you're going to cut four wires on this side and leave four wires so you'll have what should be channel one but it's going to be channel three channel four this yellow one will go into channel 5, so I'll show you how that gets hooked up now. So from the right-hand side, take your first three wires, which are your ground, signal, and your power button, your power wire, and you're going to put them in just channel 1, just like they're supposed to be, signal, power, ground. Then you're going to take the blue wire, which is the next wire, and it only has the signal. So you're going to put that to the left like that. That's your signal for channel two. Then from the left side, this is why it becomes such a mess under here, you're gonna take your three wire again, the orange, the, I'm sorry, the ground, the power, and the signal, and you're gonna put that in channel three, just like it's supposed to be, going signal, power, ground. Then you're gonna take your blue wire, which is channel four, and you're going to put that signal wire where it's supposed to go on the far left there. And then you're going to steal this 
yellow wire from the right hand side again and you're going to put that in channel 5 and that is how this receiver connects to the F3 flight controller. If you don't have these little connectors on your flight controller, I don't know what to tell you, you're going to do some soldering. Okay, so now I'm going to hook up this 250, which by the way, don't ever buy this frame. It is just, I mean, you get what you paid for. I paid $13 in this thing. It, I would have paid somebody $13 to tell me not to buy it. Uh, but anyway, that's a different story. So we're going to hook up this um, Fly Sky in Betaflight. And first thing I'm going to do is plug in the flight controller. Um, it's already loaded with Betaflight, so I don't have to worry about that. If you don't have Betaflight already loaded on your board, there's plenty of videos about how to do that. So I'm going to plug that in. I get a little blue light. And then let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and connect. There's my board. I'm going to recalibrate this accelerometer while I'm in here just to remind it what is level because it's, it's sitting pretty level right now. So, okay, and then that should be front, back, left, roll, right, roll, yaw. Okay, let's go through each of these real quick. So, ports, I turned on UR1, left it at 115, 200, uh, configuration, typical um, X quad, one, motors one, two, three, and four. Now up here you have an option, an ESC motor protocol, and you gotta select PWM if you're running uh, PW, the Fly Sky. I turned off uh, motor PWM speed separated from PID speed, I don't know what that is, motor stop, it's on, so it's disarm motors. And then you also have to change it here. You have to change it to PWM receiver one wire per channel. Turned off, I turned off all these things. Um, just left on the accelerometer. Uh, telemeter tree doesn't even need to be on. I don't know why that's on. Air mode is on. Uh, there's a great video on air mode. I'll try to put it in the uh, links below and uh, show you what that is. So I'm going to save that and reboot it. PID tuning. I didn't touch anything in here. Uh, receiver. I left it on the AERT. I'm sorry, AETR1234. Disabled RSSI. And then for modes. Um, I set my auxiliary one at a thousand and two thousand for motors. I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate the motors while I'm in here. Um, so I'm going to turn. I'm gonna arm my motors. My props are not on. Don't even mess around. Uh, and then I'm gonna turn this all the way up so that all four motors are full blast. And then I'm gonna plug in. I don't know if I can film this at the same time that I'm doing it. I'm going to plug in my battery. You hear the ESCs, do a little dance. And they do their thing. I'm going to let them, I'm going to let them do their thing. Turn it all the way down. And it should do another little song and dance. Alright, so I know those are good. Now I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to disconnect it. I just left it plugged down, but then I'm going to reconnect. That should still be good, it is. I'm gonna go down to motors. I'm gonna plug my 4S battery back in. So I can 
do it. ESCs. Now I'm going to check each of the motors. Start with motor one. First, I'm going to rearm it. I'm going to start with motor one. Should spin clockwise. Hey, look at that map. Test motor number two, counterclockwise, yay. Motor number three, clockwise. I'm sorry, counterclockwise, that's correct. Uh, two and three will spin um, counterclockwise, and then motor number four should go clockwise, yay. And that's it. I'll hook up the receiver and uh, make sure it responds to the receiver.